David Baines, senior defence lawyer, is today making his closing address in Baines' murder retrial. Baines himself walked to court this morning with some supporters, and when he arrived at the High Court for the closing of his case, he was met by another group of well wishers, some of whom he'd never met before. <laughs> Juanita Copeland has been listening to the defence closing argument and joins us now, Juanita. Sasha, Michael Reed QC began by thanking the jury for their attention and for their public service. He then went on to tell them that the defence camp have dubbed the Crown case the We Don't Know case. He says there are gaps in their forensic evidence and many of their forensic witnesses just don't know so many things. He also went on to claim that the defence has been hampered by the destruction of evidence. Uh, for example, some swabs taken from blood on Robin Bain's hands at the time of the killings. These swabs were destroyed because there wasn't the technology to test them. But now, of course, the defence can no longer retest them and prove just whose blood was on Robin Bain's hands. Now, the Crown has told uh, the court yesterday that it's their case that David Bain was the killer because Stephen Bain's blood was all over his T-shirt. The defence says, though, this is not the case, that that blood got there when uh, David Bain arrived home and found his slain family. He leaned over his brother to see if he were alive, and that is how the blood ended up on his T-shirt. Uh, Michael Reid also said to the jury that if David Bain was the killer, he'd have been covered in blood. Not, in, not He wouldn't have just the two or three spots seen on his T-shirt. So uh, this closing address is the last that the jury is going to hear from the lawyers. Tomorrow, the judge is going to sum up the entire case and give the jury their instructions and send them off to begin their deliberations. Juanita, thank you.